Dear student and parent, welcome to the Test Prep Card channel. Hope all of you are doing great in your life and we are back again with one more interesting video in this exam series and the video is going to be on the topic MHT CET exam pattern. So we will be discussing about the exam pattern of MHT set examination in detail and before starting the exam pattern I will be giving you a brief introduction of what is MHT CET examination because knowing about the exam is most important thing firstly. So, MHT CET stands for Maharashtra Common Entrance Test. It is generally an undergraduate level test conducted every year by the state government of Maharashtra for more than 340 colleges all over the state of Maharashtra. There are four types of colleges. First one are the government colleges, second one are private colleges, third one are government funded private colleges and the fourth one are unaided private colleges means they are not funded by government. So these are the four types of colleges uh, which come under MHT CET examination. Every year about uh, 3 to 4 lakh candidates appear for MHT CET examination. Though there are more than 1 lakh seats in these 340 colleges but uh, those 1 lakh seats do not worth it means only few seats are there which are very decent in a decent college okay now before moving ahead in the video before telling the exam pattern of MHD CET let me tell you about the NRI ebook prepared by test prep card especially for the NRI uh, PIO or CIWG candidates and it is going to be really very helpful for you so I will recommend you that after watching the complete video go to the description section of this video and download the ebook okay now let us discuss about the exam pattern of MHT CET examination. Now MHT CET is generally conducted for two type of courses. First one is the engineering course means for BTEC, B architecture streams and second one is for pharma courses. So the exam pattern is divided into two parts. Part A is for the students who have PCM means physics, chemistry, maths in their class 12th and the second group or second part is for those who are having PCB means physics, chemistry, biology as their subject in class 12th. So the uh, PCM group is generally for the admission into BTEC or BR courses and the exam pattern is as I am telling you the first paper is of mathematics okay and it has a total of 50 questions. Each question is of 2 marks so the total marks for mathematics section is 100 and the time you will be getting for mathematics is one and a half hour. The second paper is of physics and chemistry combined. The second paper consists 50 questions from physics, 50 from chemistry and each question carry one mark. So the total of 100 marks for the first paper of mathematics, 100 marks for the second paper of physics and chemistry. So the total paper uh, marks for PCM group or for engineering group is a 200 marks and the total time is one and a half hour for first examination for mathematics and one and a half for chemistry and physics. So you will be getting three hours in total total marks 200 and there will be no negative marking. I am repeating there is no negative marking in the MST CT examination. So it is a very good thing that you can attempt all the questions. Okay. Now talking about the second group which is PCB or physics chemistry biology group which is generally conducted for pharma courses. Here also biology is divided into two sections means uh, geology and botany and uh, geology one contains 50 questions, botany one also contains 50 questions. So the first paper is of a total 100 questions, each question carry 1 marks and you will be getting 1 and a half hour to solve the first paper and the second paper is of physics and chemistry combined here. Physics is uh, of 50 questions are there from physics, 50 questions are there from chemistry. So the total 100 marks for second paper. So the total paper is of a 200 marks for PCB group also and there will be no negative marking in this group also. Okay. Now uh, the weightage from class 11th and 12th is uh, from class 12th there will be 80% of questions and from class 11th there will be 20% of questions in each of the subject for PCM also for PCB also like for example uh, in physics there are total 50 questions uh, in both the groups PCB and PCM so 40 questions will be from 12th class and only 10 questions will be from 11th class. So this is all for the exam pattern hope you understood the exam pattern very well hope you and liked hope the video if you liked the video do like and if you want more such content more such videos then consider subscribing the channel uh, don't forget to press the bell icon so you will be notified whenever a video is out and if you have any doubt regarding MHT CET examination or if you have any doubt in the things which are told in this video then you can freely comment down uh, in the comment section or you can also contact us through the link given in the description section of this video. Thanks a lot.